Doug MPA back with another video. So if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that one of my stances is, guys, don't date single mothers. Don't take care of another man's kid. Don't play another man's saved game. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. In all fairness, ladies, if you don't have any children, don't date a guy with kids. Don't do it. What's the point? Let the people with children deal with each other. Okay. And so I found this article in AHA Parenting. It says, my husband, their stepdad hates my kids. It's where two women write to Dr. Laura and asking what they can do about the fact that the stepdad that they married doesn't like the, the children. Before we get into this article, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's get into this. It says, question, dear doctor, my 12 year old and her stepfather can't seem to get along. My husband will consistently criticize my daughter, keep telling me that she will not do well in school, will do drugs, get pregnant, and drop out of school. God dang, what a savage. <laughs> Man. She has a 76% grade average. She has promised me that she will work harder to bring up her marks in school. I've been seeing how hard she's trying lately, but my husband doesn't see it. And he never will because it's not his kid. My daughter hates her stepdad because of his negative thinking towards her because she has heard us argue many times about these things. My husband is very judgmental towards her. He feels that I'm too easy on her. Well, maybe I am. At least she admits it, but she knows how important it is to get a good education. I remind her of that all the time. He makes me feel that I'm not doing a good job. And odds are she's not doing a good job, especially if this woman was a single mother for a long time. Single mothers who've been single for a long time they run their house like single mothers do. There, there isn't a lot of discipline. They let their kids get away with murder. Well, she's been letting her daughter, her daughter get away with a 76% grade point average. And then he comes in and odds are he wasn't that serious about discipline when they were dating. But when they got married, he's like, look, you know, we got to toughen things up around here. And of course, it's going to be difficult because the daughter doesn't see him as her dad. So imagine the arguments in their house. You're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Guys, taking care of another man's kid. It's a bad deal, especially a daughter. He better hope that she doesn't hate him so much that she um, puts a false accusation on him. It says, I also have a 17-year-old A student. I believe that my 12-year-old will also become an A student. She would much rather hang out with her friends and spend time on the computer than homework. She has a certain amount of time on the PC and has to be home at a certain time. I have plenty of rules. Yeah, but what about the follow through of the rules, though? My husband's 17 year old not living with us is not an A student. His youngest for the past three years has had to attend summer school to bring his marks up. So I feel like how dare he judge me about my daughter? I also feel that my 12 year old is just screaming out for a father figure her dad is in another province and her stepdad is not giving her the affections she so desires from him. How can I bring these two together? You can't. I got to do some research about this, but I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of single mothers who marry guys who have to choose between their children in a way and the man that they married. Just, just avoid this situation altogether, guys. Because, um... I feel that if I could just get him to love her, what does that even mean? How's she, how's she going to do that? Then she would have such a totally different outlook on him. She seems so depressed. There's only so much that I can do. I spend time with her before bedtime or alone time. I know that it helps, but she needs more. He never wants to do anything as a fam. He never wants to do anything as family fun either. I, please help me to help my daughter and husband to get along and respect each other. Worried mom. Put in the comments what you think she could possibly do to save the situation. And this is the guy's fault for marrying this woman in the first place. So let's see what Dr. Laura says. Dear worried mom, you are absolutely right to be worried. Children respond to the messages they receive from the adults around them. They're just figuring out who they are and they assume we know. So if a parent figure, including a rejected stepdad, gives negative messages, you can count on a child to live up or down to those messages. Your husband almost certainly does not realize he is endangering your daughter and may even think he is being constructive, but he is actually programming her to get pregnant, do drugs, and drop out of school. And this is what women do. Women, they don't see, like, the man is supposed to go into the situation with the woman and act like a woman. 
And if you try to do anything from a disciplined male kind of standard, well, then you must be programming her to get pregnant or do just showing discipline. Criticizing the girl is programming her to get pregnant, do drugs, and drop out of school. You see that your daughter, she's depressed. 12 is a pivotal age when kids are deciding where they are most likely to get their needs met, their family or their peer group. If your husband doesn't ever want to do fun family activities and constantly criticizes her, why on earth would she be looking to her family for support and belonging? It's terrific that you spend time with your daughter each night before bedtime. However, I think it's important to also create family time every weekend. If your husband won't join in, then leave him out. But make sure that you and your daughter have something special to do together, whether it is as simple as going out for ice cream cone and a walk or making a festive dinner together. If you want ideas for dinner table conversations that could build bridges, you might want to, I'm not going to read some book. Your husband needs some basic parenting lessons, but I suspect he wouldn't be interested. See, there it is, guys. Guy has kids already. Guy chose to marry a, a woman with a, a single mother, but apparently he needs basic parenting lessons. And that means the guy needs to get on your program as a single mother. Th that's what that statement means. If his concern for your daughter is genuine, then a good family therapist would be able to help him articulate his concern for her more, more effectively and help your daughter art articulate her hurt so the two of them could begin to build a bridge. If he refuses to see a family therapist with you or to change his way of relating to your daughter, it would be an indication that he isn't willing to care about her and do what's best for her, which would be to make some changes in the way of relating to her. If that's the case, you have a tough choice to make because letting this situation continue really is endangering your daughter. You are a brave woman to have confronted this reality in your own mind and have written to me. I hope you can find the courage to stand up to your husband and protect your daughter. See, there it is, guys. Listen to this language. This guy came in here, married a woman with multiple kids. The, the image of a stepfather is just a, a punk and a simp now. Your willingness to do that may be exactly what is required to shift this precarious situation. If you need help finding a referral in your area, please blah, blah, blah. Telling you guys, taking care of another man's kids, bad news. Let's read the second one. It says, um, hi, hi, Dr. Laura. Oh, I know what you mean. My stepdad is the same way. He, he criticizes me all the time and he thinks he's helping when really he is not. He's just going to cause me to either leave the house or not to speak to him. It seems like everything I do is not good enough for him. So I know what you mean for all of you stepdads out there. Grow up and realize that things are not the same as they used to be. See, here it is. Just more and more reason to not do it. it says, um, what a terrible, dear anonymous, what a terrible feeling to get from your stepdad that you are never good enough. Do you? Do you think you can sit down with your stepdad and explain to him that you are trying hard, but you feel like you are never good enough for him and it makes you feel like giving up? Do you have anyone on your side like your mom who you can talk to and who can talk to your stepdad? This is too hard for a young person to go through alone. You need support from an adult who understands. If your mom won't help you, I advise you to find another adult you can talk to, maybe a family member or a school counselor. Then the last one uh, says, uh, my situation, exactly. My husband hates my kids and the feeling is mutual. One of my boys is off at college and isn't in the picture. My other son is 22 and between jobs dropped out of college a couple of years ago and, and a husband took it upon himself to text message, your stuff is in my office. Trash day is Tuesday, as in you have two days to get your stuff out of your room and I don't care where the hell it ends up. Dang, savage. I can understand you need to get on your feet but only two days to get his stuff out of the house with no warning. It says now we're down to my 13 year old daughter and my husband has nothing good to say about her. In spite of the fact that she's just made the honor roll for the fourth consecutive quarter. He expects her to handle herself like an adult, but she's barely a teenager. He won't share the TV with her. Gripes whenever she has friends over, says she's lazy. Well, how the heck does he expect her to react? She's going to spend every waking minute in a room and as long as he treats her like this, I don't blame her a bit for not wanting to be in the same room with him, let alone doing chores while he's on his butt in front of the TV. I should note that he has no kids, just two good-for-nothing mutt dogs. You see the disrespect? 
So this guy married her with no kids, and she's talking about him like this. I spent my whole waking existence being the mediator between the two of them and worrying about what I've done or what my daughter might do to piss him off, and I'm just sick of it. I throw him out. The house is mine from before we got married because she got it and divorced. But I need his help with the bills, guys. I need his help with the bills. The situation is hopeless. Let's see what Dr. Laura has to say. Existence is meant to be more than running interference and trying to keep your husband from getting angry. I hear how hopeless you are. The only way out of hopelessness is to recognize whatever power you have in the situation and to take it. In fact, you have quite a lot of power here. I want to encourage you to stick up for your kids and yourself. It's your responsibility as a mom to protect your kids. Your husband's attitude towards your daughter is actually endangering her, because of course, because she will start looking elsewhere for male approval and will live down to his expectations. It, is cer it certainly isn't good for your 22-year-old either, but I assume you stepped in and intervened. It's in your house. And then you get to decide what happens with your son's stuff. Your husband sending the text was not only irresponsible as a step-parent, was completely disrespectful to you. And this is, guys, this is why you don't move in with women. You should be the one to be able to make the final decision in your house. Never move in with the woman. Because I hear that you think you need your husband's help with the bills, but I also hear that you are paying a very high price for that help and sacrificing your kids in the process. If you need to take in a tenant, fine. Okay, so you're going to have a roommate around your kids paying rent who could do all sorts of stuff to your kids. I mean, the stepdad could too, but a, a, a roommate in a house with these children? Yeah, good advice there. But endangering your kid's emotional health for money isn't worth it. I suspect that if you decide to lay down the law with your husband, he will either change or go, and all of you will, will be better off. I wouldn't wait for your daughter to ruin her life before taking action. Good luck. No single mothers, guys. Don't do it. Don't become a stepdad. The days of the stepfather are over, and that's one of the best parts about um, red pill channels. All, you know, Every major red pill channel says don't be a stepdad. And we're starting to see a change. Okay? Be part of that change. Don't date women with children. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.